So, on account of the fact that I can't sleep, we uh, we looked at some apartments. You're moving? Well, I don't know that we're moving, but uh, a friend of mine did own a condo and did offer us a pretty good deal and is not asking for first month and last month. In Lowell? No, that's the problem. Oh, right? yeah. where? Uh, so, and my wife's job just moved to Norwood, uh, so there's that. Uh, Are you the, telling me you're breaking up with me as a morning call? If, 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 we, if, we, if we take you this... You have to do it so publicly? If we take this... Well, the reason I'm being public about it, and I thought... Is <laughs> that you know Sam is now awake and he's listening. No, 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 <laughs> not Sam, not Sam. The, the, this construction situation, we were promised that they weren't going to come back on Saturday anymore. And they've been, they stopped for one Saturday and they've been back every Saturday after that. The one day that I can get some sleep is Saturday... And now, that's now been taken away from me, and I'm losing my mind. And now it's my fault that I work nights. And, and the other thing is, I'm not going to ask the city to shut down the construction site because there's probably deadlines and budgets. And I don't want to be the guy that made the garage or the apartment building six months late because I raised a stink. But I, I have some neighbors, and, and, and uh, one teaches piano lessons, and his apartment faces the construction, and he's had to shut down... His piano lessons, he literally cannot give his piano lessons. It's too loud. Um, I have another company that does a photography business, and, the, and, and they can't, can't work either. Can't you use, like, the banging of the hammers as, like, a metronome? Like a me- yeah, no, because yeah. these construction dun, workers dun, have no dun, rhythm. Dun, dun, dun. No. <laughs> <laughs> maybe you can get, maybe they can cooperate with you and, and bang their hammers to, like, the beat of, a, I can, of the me, Tennessee waltz or whatever the heck you I teach think, I think you just said the magic words. Maybe they can co- cooperate with us. I don't think they can. I don't think they're capable. You should see this email chain. Where they, 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 they used to answer the emails with the tenant association and say, you know, we're doing emergency work one Saturday only, and that turns into like five consecutive Saturdays. And then uh, I have a neighbor who's on that chain. He's sort of the vice president of the tenants association, and, and he's the guy with the piano lessons. And he asked some questions, and they're not even replying anymore. The, C, the city is CC'd on the, on the messages. And uh, I lost my mind a little bit this weekend, and he's like... <laughs> He goes, uh, you know, we're hearing more and more evidence of you losing your mind. Yes, I'm losing my mind because you, when you don't sleep ever, this is what happens. You lose your mind. So my neighbor wrote to them and said, so are you going to like continue working on Saturday? You're not returning ma- email. What's going on? And I said, and a reply all to people in downtown are going to see. Uh, the thing is, Aaron, is they don't care. Uh, and so the reason they're not replying to you is because they don't care. And the reason they continue to work on Saturday is because they do not care. Now, that might seem harsh, but I'm not wrong. They don't care. We've voiced our concerns, and they say, yeah, 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 And the construction on Saturday at 7 o'clock in the morning continues. So if I take uh, this apartment, and uh, I'm going to be in the city, and I won't be on WCAP anymore. So we'll see what happens. So you're going to be in Boston? Yeah. Ooh. But I don't necessarily want... Look, I, I live in Lowell on purpose. I've lived in a million states and a million cities, and I stayed here, you know? I went to 13 schools in 12 years. Does this mean you can't run for city council? Uh, I can't run for city council if I live in Boston, no. <laughs> uh, and I, I never imagined I'd be in a position where I was going to leave Lowell. There was one year, a couple years ago, where I got offered a great job in Seattle that I ended up turning down. Um, but I almost moved to Seattle, and then... We find out that my daughter had this disease and the world-renowned specialist was here, so we stayed. Uh, but I didn't really want to leave then either. Uh, but I haven't had a, a good night's sleep in months. And it's, uh, it's, it's starting to get to me a little bit. And, you know, never mind that I work two jobs. Saturday. Can I get Saturday? No, I can't get Saturday. So I'm up earlier on Saturday than I am the rest of the week as my apartment shakes I mean, you should hear it. I have audio tape. It's 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 miserable. So uh, we're looking at apartments. I mean, maybe we'll stay in Lowell. I don't know, but we got offered a great deal in the city, and it kind of can't turn it down. Can you start construction at nine on Saturday? I've asked them about fifty times if they could just wait till nine. <laughs> and you know what they do? They don't reply. You know why? Because they do not care. They do. <laughs> They've been told not to reply. To yeah, you. they don't write. And it's not like we're replying going, hey, jerk face. You know, we're like, hey, what's going on? Like, we've been, we've been trying to cooperate, 
and ask questions and be polite about it, and it's not working out. But you know what? My neighborhood was once a quiet neighborhood, and now it's going to be the epicenter of Lowell, and uh, I don't want to live there anymore. So, so I'm not sure if your plea is either going, is either going to help or hurt Steve, because now that we're, oh, we, might, we almost got rid of him. Let's yeah, yeah. get there at 6 o'clock. This yes. Yeah, that's it. It doesn't matter. You lost me already. If you, if you wanted to lose me, uh, mission accomplished. Sean from Bill Ricca says...